now to our initiative, Forecasting Our Future, where we take a deeper dive into issues that affect our changing coastline, our climate, and our community. It's no surprise that we eat a lot of oysters here in Southeast Louisiana, but the last thing you probably think about is, where do all those oyster shells go once you're done with them? It's a good question. WDSU's uh, Lee Southwick shows you how what some would consider trash is actually vital to our local environment. It's my birthday meal, and I'm enjoying these delicious oysters. Every day, 1.3 million Louisiana oysters are consumed in the U.S. According to the Department of Health, Louisiana is the top oyster producer in the country. Yet, we have an oyster shell deficit. Most shells removed from coastal waters are not returned, and worse yet, many shells end up in landfills. Oyster shells provide habitat for new oyster growth, so baby oysters attach to the shells of adult or dead oysters so that they can grow. And so when you remove the shell from the water and it doesn't come back, you're actually depleting that natural habitat. That's where the Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana steps in. Since 2014, the group has been recycling used oyster shells from area restaurants and using them to build oyster reefs in coastal waters. These reefs improve water quality, provide fishing habitat, support the local economy, and help protect the shoreline. So not only do oyster reefs provide habitat for new growth and for all sorts of species, they're also one of the first lines of defense. When storms come in through the Gulf, they encounter oyster reefs first, before barrier islands, before marshes, before levees, and so they actually can help to decrease that wave energy. And so what we've seen with our reef projects is actually a 50% reduction in the rate of marsh erosion. The process of building an oyster reef begins with those of us who love to dine on oysters. There are currently 17 New Orleans area restaurants that participate in oyster shell recycling as well as two public drop-off spots. Yeah, the program's great and it, it's just such a good benefit and so partnering up with them has just been ideal because we're in the seafood business so it's just you know to preserve what we're doing this is going to help preserve that one element of seafood in Louisiana which is oysters along with all the other things that we do. The shells are then transported from the restaurants to the oyster shell recycling site in Violet. There they bake in the sun for six months to kill off any bacteria and basically turn the shell into rock. Volunteers with the coalition then bag the shells to create 30 pound sacks then take them to the coast. Once they bag up these oyster shells, they bring them out here, they put them on a boat, they go about 30 minutes offshore, and then they throw the bags of oysters overboard. All of these shells will start to pile up and this is where the reef will grow. Baby oysters will attach onto these shells that we have eaten at the restaurants. And from here, the reefs will continue to grow and thrive and protect the lands around it. That reef in Bay Adams was constructed in two parts. It started last year with 150 tons of recycled oyster shell. It's uh, really heartening that after Ida, last year's work that we did to extend the coast with these oysters, it kept well. It, it's still there. We're going to see it there today and just continue to increase from it. The second phase, completed just this year, finished with 30 tons of shell. That totals 180 tons of recycled shell for this one reef. This is the fourth reef building project the coalition has taken on. The program started in 2014. Since then, we've recycled over 10 million pounds of shell. Eat more oysters, because the more you eat, the more shells we can give to them to help preserve these beds. In Lower Plaquemines Parish, Lee Southwick, WDSU News. All right, Lee, great story. And if you'd like to help restore our coastline, the coalition is inviting both locals and those people in town for Jazz Fest to head out to their next volunteer event. That's on May 3rd and 4th in Violet, Louisiana, when the group will gather to bag all those oyster shells up. For more details, you can go right now to WDSU.com and click on this story.